Independence police say a groundskeeper took this picture. They think it might be the man that stole one bronze plaque, similar to this one, off a grave at historic Mount Washington Cemetery on the west edge of Independence. The groundskeeper also took a picture of this Ford Taurus that police think could be the getaway car. It also brought Harold Ethington to the cemetery. My wife had seen that uh, somebody was taking these bronze plaques off the military headstones. These places are full of stories. Missouri U.S. Senator James A. Reed rests here. This is the mausoleum of William Rockhill Nelson, founder of the Kansas City Star. Ethington is wondering about his son, Todd, a veteran who died 10 years ago. So I, I come on out to see if his was okay. Cemetery isn't saying much about it, just that they're missing one bronze plaque on the grave of an unnamed veteran. Police say these things cost $800 each, and they look like this, Todd Ethington's plaque. I feel better now. I'm just curious as, as, as to why they did it and how are they going to get rid of it. You know, it's got the serviceman's name on it. After his grandson, Jesse, fixes the flower vase, Harold Ethington relaxes. Still wondering, however, why somebody steals the marker off a soldier's grave in Mount Washington Cemetery. In Independence, Michael Mahoney, KNBC 9 News. The cemetery groundskeeper took the picture of the man and the car on October 28th.